In this video, we're going to see how to use labels in Google Gmail. In Gmail, labels control all sorts of organizations. So your inbox, your spam, your trash are all organized as labels. Labels are found along the left hand side of your screen and these labels act as folders to help you organize your messages. So first we're going to show you how to create a new label. I'm going to click on one of my messages to open it and from here I'm going to assign a label to it. To do that, I click on the label icon in the toolbar. In this case, I'm going to click create new. From here, I'm going to give it a name and then click create. So now this message is tagged with this label and along the left hand side, we can find our new label there acting kind of like a folder. If I click on that label, I see that the email is organized in that folder. And since it's the only one I've labeled this way, it's the only one in this folder. We turn back to my inbox and you can see that the label is here as well. One handy feature is to color code your labels. On the left hand side, find the ellipses menu next to your label and under it, click on color label and select one of the colors. So all emails with that label will have a handy color coding. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a sub label. I'm going to open up another message and then from here, I'm going to click on the label icon again, click create new. Now I'm going to give it another name. Then I'm going to select the nest label under and select my previous label as a parent. That will create a nested structure, like a tree structure for your labels. Click on create and you'll see that it has both labels applied to it. One has a sub label. On the left hand side, we'll find that the labels are nested that allow us to collapse them again like a folder. Back in my inbox, you can see that that new label is applied as well. To manage your labels, you can go to the gear icon in the upper right hand corner and then select see all settings. The second tab in the settings is labels. From here, you can find all the system labels, which are inbox, start, etc, etc. These are the ones that are generated by Gmail and you can't remove them, but you are able to hide them if you decide you don't want to see them. Below that we have category. Categories are logical groupings that Gmail assigns to your messages such as social media posts or promotions and such. Um, you can hide those as well if you want. Um, but then down below we find all the labels that we've created. So here are the two labels, um, the second one being nested under the first. So we could hide it if we want to or just remove them. This is how you can manage your own labels. So earlier I mentioned that inbox, starred, and all of these other categories are all just labels. So if we go into our message that we had before, We'll see that inbox is one of the labels that are there. If you archive this message, it will remove that inbox label. Uh, the email is still saved because you have it tagged, but it's no longer part of your inbox. It's just a way to kind of clean it up. If I click more on the left hand side and then scroll down a little bit and click on all mail, I'll see everything that's in my system, past things, things have been deleted and so on. So I already have that email that I removed or archived from my inbox before. If I open it back up, I see that it still has my label on it, but it's no longer in my inbox. We can return this to our inbox by clicking the move to inbox icon. And when we do that and then return back to our inbox, we'll see that it's there again. And it again has the inbox tag. So the inbox tag is controlling whether or not it's in your inbox. So if you're ever wondering where did my email go after you archive it, it's still in there if you have something tagged with it. It's just been removed from your inbox and part of your, your permanent archive. Another thing you can do with your emails that are tagged is move them to other tags. So here I'm looking at this message and I see I have the move to icon. If I click move to, then I see all of the labels that are part of the system. I can move it from one tag to another tag by just using that move to icon. And that helps you organize your messages kind of like folders using tags. I hope this helped you learn how to use labels within Google Gmail. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Let me know if I can help.